establish a unique breed which has the characteristics needed past the life of the first generation. With amazing crossbreds from special mares by the stallion Del Ciro, it became my ambition to replicate the special characteristics of the first progeny beyond their lifetime. Please note this is not an attempt to replace the science of genetics. That is not why I have provided this presentation. However, for the purpose of understanding the reason for line breeding, here is a very simple diagram. For example, people say they have a 15 hand mare and they want the foal to be 16 hands. So they will go to a 17 hand stallion thinking that they need to average the height of the stallion and the mare. However, the character will be whatever the genetic is there. You have a choice between the four genes available. Of course, there is also nurture as well as nature. A theoretical illustration about heights. The progeny assuming siblings in this theory that there are only four genes coming through due to the fact that there is the same founding parents. Even in this scenario, it is a lottery. The way that all breeds have developed is through line breeding, either starting out as a wild herd or as a deliberate act to produce characteristics wanted. Line breeding developed the Morgan horse, thoroughbreds, the Australian merino sheep and the Murray grey cattle. Imagine all the other genes which will need to come into the mix. However, any manufacturer knows that if they want a premium result, primary materials must be exceptional quality. Both the good and the bad genes can come through. This can become more obvious with line breeding. This means that gene characteristics often become more obvious good and bad with line breeding. The opportunity to reveal a recessive gene is positive. Horses with certain traits will not be used in the breeding program. For example, a horse may be too high or small for the breeding program. If a genetic characteristic comes consistently through to progeny, it is an indication that the parent has probably a double gene with whichever characteristic being identified. 60 years ago, we called that a predominant stallion, generally referring to looks, confirmation, talent or temperament. The stallion's progeny would show his consistent traits crossed with different mares. A mare can also show predominant traits. Rating stallions and mares, but they do not make as much impact in a breed because of sheer numbers, should be based on their progeny. First generation is only the start of the job. In developing a new breed, the first generation provides the template. Buying a horse into a stud that has ranked in competition should only be used as one of the yardsticks. In my estimation, so long as that there is enough talent, the individual that reaches a pinnacle in competition 
will be because of practice with horses, the pilot. A human example, there are several brothers in international cricket. Obviously they had talent, genetics. However, what took them to the top was practice. And they can't have practice without having the basic things, soundness, good mind, willing. The characteristics that we should be aiming for in the horses is the same, soundness, good mind, willing. Help with that, with enough talent, true pace is suitable for riding, sensitive. Looks need to reflect that the horse has the structure, that's confirmation, and an indication of the temperament. I have seen amazing horses with no talent on the dressage arena who had achieved their zenith due to a good mind and a patient, dedicated person. At the same time, I have seen horses with huge talent that have been trashed by humans. Amazing. Yet they will still forgive and forget and give their heart yet again to a human. With patience as per time, education and dedication, not some sentimental emotional stuff, a rider can prepare a horse to do tasks which the horse does not have an aptitude. For example, it is a hard ask to expect a thoroughbred to sneak logs in the forest. And in the same vein, it is a hard ask for a draft horse to dance or jump. With preparation and patience, each will give their best effort. But it is better if the raw material enough talent, is prepared for the task. Hopefully you enjoy a little background on the ideas in developing the new pure breed of Spanish warm blood horses and how using line breeding has helped stay on.